Welcome to How to Yu-Gi-Oh! Awards Ceremony 2023 Hello there. With me, Elemental Hero Mirus, and I'm taking over as I'll be introducing the award ceremony for this channel. So, welcome and be prepared. Anyway, so what can we what do I be talking about in the archetypes, you know, and decks that, you know, that I have rated in the grade uh, core set, grade as, grade as side set. So you can expect to see them on, uh, you know, in the rest of this video and other things as well. Well, I hope you enjoy this uh, series of videos. And let me continue with the rest of the video. Best Archetype 2023, Kashtera. So why does Kashtera win? And why is it, do I consider this the best archetype in Yu-Gi-Oh for this year? Part of the reason is, is that it has results. Since it's supporting Fortnite Panoba in February of this year, Kashtera has won every single event that it's been in. In TCG anyway. It's had the most tops. Facts. The most wins perfect in every way and it has proven itself to be so powerful that it has dominated the game for more than six months that my friends makes all the difference our latest ban list we had that Kestura finally left the competitive scene for more than half the year Kestura has been the best deck and has been gatekeeping all new archetypes that have been released in other sets that have been released this year. That is how powerful Kashtera has been. That really hits where it hurts. And it, it is for that reason that I declare, and I think the whole community can say, and I can say with confidence, that Kashtera is the best archetype of 2023. You are absolutely right. Hyped set of 2023, and this comes to Photon Hypernova. While we have had more set, sets this year, I think it's only Photon Hypernova that has had the most impact in terms of hype. Facts. The excitement that this set has generated in the community, I don't even think our rarity collection generated that much uh, hype as Photon Hypernova did. I can't deny that. It's just the truth at this point. Especially in the community. And it's for that reason, and for that reason alone, that it wins its award for most hyped set for 2023 is Photon Hypernova. With the honorable mention going to Age of Overlord coming in second place. But in first place and the winner of this prestigious award is Photon Hypernova. There's a lot of things about this set that rendered this set a really hyped set. We had the premiere of new wild cards of this year, which I can say is Triple Tactics Thrust. We've had loads of power cards, loads of going second cards, loads of cards in this set that were previously announced and mentioned that set the hype for this set to a whole new level. That's a lot of choices, which are wonderful. While yes, it is true that Age of Overlord has had uh, some powerful cards, but really, the set, booster set that kicked this all off and has had the most hype, I can say, without a doubt, has been Photon Hypernova. And it is with that, I can confidently say that the most hyped set of 2023 is Photon Hypernova. Hype equals success. Okay. And with history in the making here, for the best set of 2023 we're going to rarity collection indeed when it comes to the best set of Yu-Gi-Oh! and in 2023 it goes without saying this award will go to rarity collection don't let us down what rarity collection has added to Yu-Gi-Oh! is absolutely insane we have the meta staples being affordable we have a card like Baron de Fleur, which also wins, which is also going to win uh, the best reprint of the year. But we see it go from three digits to single digits. We see countless cards that are used in the meta going for a cheap price. It's completely slashed and completely 
made the secondary market much more affordable for staples Facts. to the game of Yu-Gi-Oh is absolutely insane. I would say more, more than even Photon Hypernova. While Photon Hypernova may be the most hyped set, the best set and the thing that's gonna bring so much value to the game and for players and for everyone at large is Rarity Collection. And it was with that, I can honestly say this award goes to Rarity Collection for being the best set of 2023. Success comes from being the best. Congratulations for winning this prestigious award. It is Triple Tactics Thrust. Yes, the best wild card in Yu-Gi-Oh! I can honestly say this is Triple Tactics Thrust. I like it. Now, why is it the best wild card? First of all, what is a wild card? A wild card is a card that is not part of any archetype that's released in a set. Does not sound too bad. And since its release, Triple Tactics Thrust has been in every single winning deck. That sounds broken. Tell me more. Whether it's in a winning deck list or it's in a topping deck list, it has never failed to be in the top four or top eight. Without fail, this card has been popular from day one. You expect me to believe that? Absolutely unbelievable. And it has completely cemented itself as a the new going second staple. Even now, where its popularity is considered to be waning, but I would consider this trap deck staple. Whether it's Labyrinth, this is a staple. Whether it is Trap Trick, this is a staple. Wh whatever um, anti-meta deck you have. What do you want? I will give it to you. Triple Tactics Thrust is a staple. Again, this is also a staple in the fact that if you are a weak archetype, for example, whether it is branded, I can honestly say even if it is Phantom Knights, whatever archetype you are, there's always space for Triple Tactics Thrust. It could add you whatever you want. Why not say one again? And it was with that, I can honestly say that the best wild card of 2023 is Triple Tactics Thrust. Congratulations for winning this prestigious award. And we have an honorable mention for the best wild card, which would be SP Little Knight. Uh, coming in in Age of Overlord, I would say this comes in second place. Um, coming in late in the year, but I think Thrust definitely um, beats it this year. And I would say Thrust is better. Although maybe some of you may say that the impact of SP Little Knight you know, in Yu-Gi-Oh! right now is more than Thrust, but I would say Thrust does more. Thrust is a game-ending card in itself. It can add you whatever you want, whereas SP Little Knight, we can't necessarily say it wins you games, but Thrust, on the other hand, you can honestly say it can win you the game. That's all I've got to say about this. Alrighty, and we have SP Little Knight taking another award here. Uh, with two awards with uh, best new monster staple, SP Little Knight. Yes, yes, my friends, SP Little Knight is not done taking home the bacon and is taking on more awards. So not only is SP Little Knight taking, having an honorable mention in best new, in best wild card of 2023, it's also having a mention here for the best new monster staple of 2023 in we can't do many things you can't even think of indeed sp little knight is taking home two awards and this award ceremony absolutely insane and i think we all saw this coming sp little knight definitely deserves these two awards and we can see why as a new monster staple it definitely is the case while uh superstar slayer typhoon sky crisis can take an honorable mention here but it goes without saying, and I think we can all agree here that SP Little Knight takes these two awards and it's just, it's just absolutely beautiful. What this card does to the game, the way, the fact that you can put this in any extra deck, in any deck rather, and you are just going to just win games. I like the word freeze. Do you know why? It means I can do silly things for no reason. 
the fact that it can just help in any situation nine times out of ten if you're using an sp little knight it's gonna help in that situation if you're not winning with this card you're possibly uh, preventing death from this card there's just so much it does for you and so it goes without saying with two awards under its belt will it be a trifecta can it win a third award you need to calm down with that best new monster staple is sp little knight and with the previous award it had as an honorable mention, best wild card of 2023 is a speed knight as well, although it comes in second place, but in first place he has a new Mossa staple is a speed lit knight. All right, let's move on to the next award. And here you have it. The best legacy support is Horus for this year in 2023. We've had legacy support that's come in the past, definitely, um, but the legacy support that has really outshined here, that has really had some impact in our competitive scene since release, has been Horus. Wow, my friends, absolutely insane. We have to take in consideration that Horus, while it has been, the last time Horus was meta was when the game first started. What the hell does that even mean? More than 10 years, I would say. Not 10 years since this archetype has seen competitive play it is absolutely insane and that a changeover a whole new makeover has made this the superstar that it is today are you serious whether it is used in in phantom knights whether it's used in t elements whether it's just used in just pile decks uh horus with its new makeover has really shown us what it what it means to be the best legacy support of 2023 and goes to show that if an if a previous if an old archetype can get a substantial makeover it can become a superstar a really the new cinderella in the making here we are really pleased to say that with a firm grip that horus definitely without a doubt wins this prestigious award of best legacy support of 2023 and we're having the best new engine of 2023 coming down to Dear Bellstar. Indeed, we have had new engines in the past, whether it's been Adventure, whatever it's been, and they've and we can say they have won awards of the past. But Dear Bellstar comes in at Age of Overlord and I believe has had more impact as an engine than ever before. We've got a lot of worries for the rest of the meta. Whatever deck it's been put in, it has been lifting its weights and definitely absolutely carrying the deck to new heights you don't get to play you just lose whether it's rescue ace whether it's infernobles whatever fire deck you are she's a girl that's all hot and definitely makes everything hotter that she touches never make a joke like that again absolutely insane she's a girl that everyone wants to be with all the decks want to be with her and you can definitely see it with the results that she brings to the table do not underestimate this lady here she has absolutely been killing it and definitely everyone wants a piece of her and with that being said that is why she wins a prestigious award of being the best new engine of 2023 while it is true that we can say that Horus should have an honorable mention for the best engine, but I feel Dear Bellstar takes this spot um, first. And I think Dear Bellstar, does, she deserves it. She's strong and she knows it. You're so sexy. And we all know it in our hearts that Dear Bellstar, I think it can go without saying, is the best new engine of 2023. Let's move on and see other awards in this awards you in this Yu-Gi-Oh award ceremony and i think i mentioned this card before in rarity collection but the best reprint of 2023 comes down to baron de fleur indeed this synchro 10 i think is the best reprint of 2023 it is rarity collection that has really tanked the card price of this card down to an affordable price she's a girl that everyone wants to get her hands on her that is so she's absolutely desirable everyone wants her you're so sexy 
everyone wants to be with her who doesn't like who doesn't fancy baron de fleur in the Yu-Gi-Oh community hands down she's the best reprint of 2023 i believe the answer that you are looking for is yes everyone wants this card absolutely insane right now and it is with and it goes without saying she wins this prestigious award of being the best reprint of 2023 no questions no doubt in my mind definitely we can all attest that she wins this award let's move on to the next awards in this Yu-Gi-Oh award ceremony and here we have it the best side set for 2023 i think goes down to amazing defenders with a grade of a definitely i think uh, amazing defenders didn't start out so amazing this year I find this rather odd. It was looking a little bit dodgy, a little bit not amazing. But it has proven itself that we can see during the end of the year, it turned out to be amazing and it really defended itself. Um, whether it's been Rescue Ace that premiered in there, and we had, and I think there were signs of greatness when we had our first regional top, when Mikanko had its first original top at the beginning of the year. However, Amazing Defenders wasn't taken seriously, and it definitely slipped under the radar. I think in TCG, we definitely slipped under the radar here, and we didn't take this set seriously, we didn't take the archetypes in it seriously, and it proved to be our undoing. Look at uh, the archetypes now, and we can see that Re Amazing Defenders, the archetypes of Amazing Defenders are dominating the Yu-Gi-Oh scene. Coincidence, I think not. And it's absolutely amazing at how great they are at defending themselves. Yes, the puns are real. Everything is real here. This is not a dream. This is reality here. Amazing Defenders is, under is without question, the best side set of 2023 in Yu-Gi-Oh right now and I don't think anyone can say otherwise. We've had You're my number one. three side sets this year whether they've been Valiant Smashers with uh, with Centurion and and uh, Memento and the third archetype there that uh, we we the pendulum archetype that who who cares about it sniff that is extremely disrespectful um we have um you know wild survivors there the third side set which we've had vanquish soul and maybe maybe me most can say that vanquish soul deserves this title but i feel that no vanquish soul does not deserve this title you have not um the wild survivors set does not deserve this title because while vanquish soul has had results all the archetypes in it have not really are not dominating the competitive scene right now the same can't be said for amazing defenders so it goes without saying that amazing defenders wins this prestigious award of being the best side set of 2023 uh definitely uh clap for this set side set and uh, hopefully, I think we can all agree here that this is the best side set of 2023. Let's move on and see what other awards we can give to other sets this year. Wow, quite interesting. As we can see here, we have our first regional top. One of the reasons why this set, uh, Amazing Defenders, is the best side set of the year. So we can see it has this prestigious award, the first regional top award in TCG goes down to Mechanko, who saw this coming. I don't think no one did with Gabe's list that he uh, piloted here. And we all saw Mechanko. I think we all saw Amazing Defenders. And no one saw the light. No one saw what these ladies could do. We all, I think Mechanko was seen as the weakest archetype in Amazing Defenders. Facts. It was just seen as some trash. Because you are trash! I think I definitely labeled it as some trash, definitely. But, you know, Gabe with it proved us wrong. He showed us that girls can can compete. And, you know, Mikanko can do something. Believe in the girls and they will deliver. And my God, have they delivered. They had the... This was the first unknown top we can see in Yu-Gi-Oh! in TCG anyway. And it has delivered. And ever since, we've seen Mikanko with lists after lists, topping uh, topping events, topping awards. Have they won a major event? Absolutely not. But that does not mean that Mikanko 
is a deck that is is weak and you should not be afraid of it you should be very afraid of mikanko they've definitely proven that big strength comes in little packages dreams do come true and it goes without saying and i can definitely say this 100 percent that the regional award for mikanko being the first regional top for just an unknown archetype that we never knew was gonna top is Mikanko. So I can we can I can say this for sure that it deserves this award. Well done. Congratulations, Mikanko, for winning this award and for heralding Amazing Defenders being the best side set of 2023. Just by having this award. Let's move on to some more awards in this award ceremony. Okay, and we have our first national top going in tcg which is vanquish soul indeed while vanquish soul was the first archetype that has topped in the nationals for this year and it was an archetype i don't think anyone saw coming we did not see this in tcg anyway topping while you know there were naysayers um about it there was just no one saw it coming and but it topped and indeed it has proven results it has really shown itself that this is the archetype to beat restriction is stronger than prevention and unfortunately while it has not had and the reason why while survivor is the set that premiered vanquish soul has not taken the title of the best side set of 2023 in Yu-Gi-Oh! is unfortunately the other archetypes in this set have just not hacked it they have not proven any kind of results and unfortunately hungry burger that premiered in this set where is it what is it doing competitively it is doing absolutely nothing and that is not enough if you want to be winning the uh prestigious award of best side set you need to deliver all three archetypes in your set have to top at major events or at least win it and frankly, the other archetypes are nowhere to be seen. Unfortunately, that is the case. And while Vanquish Soul does get this prestigious award for, you know, being the first archetype, you know, in unknown archetype to top, which was not expected rather to top the nationals, it's just not enough. So that's all we can say, really. Let's move on and see what other awards are here in this award ceremony. All right, and so we have the best historic defining set that goes to Rarity Collection. Again, Rarity Collection winning two awards here. I think it goes without saying, as it won also the best set of 2023. And, it's, and it definitely gets this award for being an historic defining set. The truth you need to know. For Yu-Gi-Oh! in general, this is a set that has basically changed hearts changed minds and has really have us see hope in Yu-Gi-Oh once again and I think for that simple reason it gets this award for being a defining set in Yu -Gi for Yu-Gi-Oh um it's historic it's bring it's brought a lot to the table and the fact that we can see that it's a number one that it has a set code of one means that we could definitely see a repeat of this uh, set for next year for 2024 but what uh rarity collection has done really and i don't think uh has understood has made this game accessible for new players and has definitely destroyed the barrier to entry for saying that Yu Gi Oh is expensive not anymore with just rarity collection existing this is means the barrier to entry price wise has now dropped and is much much easier to get into this game if you are a new player uh, facts um being able to get these meta staples for the cheap now is definitely something that we like to see and something that is very historic and very defining but outside of that rarity collection is go is brings the Yu -Gi -Oh community together and really shows us that there is hope for Yu-Gi-Oh going forward and just this set existing means that a lot of sets in this going next year really need to pull their weight here because of just rarity collection existing it's not enough while we can well we do have core sets that we expect next year we have side sets we also expect next year mega tins is going to have to offer much more and just 
we need better sets and uh rarity collection is one of them so i'm glad and happy to say it wins this award with flying colors who knows maybe next year we can see another historic defining set award but for now rarity collection takes these two awards for historic defining set and also the best set of 2023 let's move on and see what other awards we can expect in this award we've done with all the awards here so as you can see in front of you, we have the last award I think we're giving is perfect core sets. What do I mean by perfect core sets? These are sets that have scored with a grading system of A, of A or higher. And we have, and in a year in Yu-Gi-Oh, they're usually, as it says, in, as you can see in front of you, four core sets are usually in Yu-Gi-Oh every year. And so out of these four core sets, three of them have scored above a grade of A. We have Photon Hypernova getting an A distinction, Cyberstorm Access getting just a grade A, and we have Age of Overlord getting an A+. Unfortunately, Dualist Nexus just got an average with a grade of E. But still, we have three perfect core sets, meaning that this year has been a fantastic year for core sets. And definitely we can say we can give it a perfect grading system for the core sets. Look out for Yu-Gi-Oh! Awards that will be released on my channel every year around this time, starting this year. And hopefully it can give you a rough idea of what has won, what hasn't won, why it has won uh, these prestigious awards. They have won them for a reason. And uh, the reason is practically obvious. And I think that's about it. And I believe, um, you know, in the... In the future, we will have the Razzie Awards. As we have seen what wins, we need to see what loses. And so definitely look out for the Razzie Awards ceremony in the future. As we see the worst of the worst, the worst, the bottom of the bottom, the dregs of Yu-Gi-Oh! And just the failed potential of things that just couldn't quite hack it. Why these cards failed, we will know more about this in the Razzie Awards ceremony. Well, as your host, Silver Bones, thank you for uh, participating in this Yu-Gi-Oh! Awards ceremony. And you can definitely see that all these cards, definitely, and sets, whatever they are, deserve this award. And this is my award ceremony that I've uh, hosted. And I think with all the data and everything that I've accumulated for Yu-Gi-Oh! this year, I think everything here deserves these, uh, these awards that I've granted them. I think this is all fair and balanced and uh, not a uh, biased in any shape or form i tr i'm trying not to be with these award ceremonies but yeah that's about it so hope to see you soon we come to the end of this video so as i like to say you are one step closer to becoming a Yu-Gi-Oh master my faith right is in your hands